Hi, I'm Matt Pryor, line producer of FIFA Football Vita. The big features coming to Vita are, firstly, it's the complete console experience. It's got all the offline game modes, the career mode, the tournaments, everything else. Um, so it's the biggest and most complex handheld game we've ever made. So that was one of the key things. Then on top of that, we also wanted to kind of make it unique for the Vita um, platform. The Vita platform in it is in itself a very unique uh, device with a touchscreen front and back. So what we've done is we have a few touchscreen features. Um, we have touchscreen shooting. So what that is, if you can imagine the rear touch is kind of like the dimensions of a goal in the kind of 16 by 9 format. So what you can now do is aim precisely by tapping anywhere on the back screen. So if you're clean through on goal and you want to put it in the top corner, previously in FIFA there's always a little bit of an element of hit and hope. Now we take that element of hit and hope out and give control to the user. So ultimately scoring is now much more rewarding and the game as a whole is a lot more satisfying. We also had touchscreen uh, passing. So now again, um, a lot of times you could maybe see a killer 50 yard ball but you couldn't actually execute it because you know you couldn't get the d-pad in the right place or whatever now it's very simple you can actually tap on the front screen and where you tap is where the ball goes tap once uh, to play it along the floor tap and hold to play a lofted ball and the third and final touchscreen feature is touchscreen set pieces so now at free kicks you can uh, curl and dip the ball by using a gesture on the front and also at penalty kicks as well in terms of gameplay mode so it's got everything that the offline modes the the, the console version now so it's got career mode it's got tournaments it's got to be a Pro, it's got all of that. Um, we also have the most popular online feature in FIFA, which is the online ranked gameplay. So you can play any other Vita player anywhere in the world. We've got friends list, so you can hook up with your friends very easily. But in terms of where to go next, um, the online space is certainly somewhere we could, could build on. So uh, more advanced features like the OTP, uh, FIFA Ultimate Team, all that stuff is potential where we can move in next time. As a first iteration, it's obviously I need to build the infrastructure, build the platform and then build that up. It took a lot of years for those modes to appear in FIFA, so to the expectation first time out on Vita is kind of a high one. So moving forward, that's certainly something we could look at uh, going forward. And also potentially linking the two as an obvious kind of connection. So I play my career mode at home, I then hop on the bus and I can continue on the PS Vita. So that's certainly something we would look to um, if, the, if there's kind of an appetite for that. But the lack of the kind of shoulder buttons on the, uh, the Vita does mean we have to kind of uh, change functionality a bit. So just to be clear, we've not taken anything out. All it means is there is additional modifiers. So for example, the chip shot on the Vita is now both our bumpers and uh, circle to, to chip. So everything's still there and on occasion where it, it utilized the, the lower trigger on the PS3, we've had to add, add an extra modifier. So yeah, we had to kind of do, be a little creative there, but all that functionality is still there.